Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Sir Click and we are playing on the Terrascape server. Yay! Once more back. I'm so I'm so amazed every time I come back on the Terrascape server because you know I don't get to be online the Terrascape server too often. Can I can I open the door? Yeah, nice. Um, and so every time I'm here, it's like a little holiday. Speaking of holidays, guys, you can just uh, see, notice, observe a couple of things around me. There's been some decoration, Christmas decoration ongoing. Uh, my house seems to be afflicted as well. <laughs> afflicted probably is not a good word. Let me just change perspective. It feels a little strange to walk backwards. I actually like it. I'm gonna leave it like this. Maybe I'm gonna add a couple of new things um, to make it more Christmassy, but that's nice. So the folks are preparing for the holidays. Uh, spirits are high. There are cakes everywhere. No, it's not a cake. And there's this gigantic three. Uh, what is wrong with me today? Not a gigantic three, but a gigantic tree. <clears throat> it's supposed to be a Christmas tree. It's sort of kind of almost reminds the Christmas tree. What I am impressed with is its size. That's really truly a colossal tree. Well, obviously it's hollow inside. This is the big colorful tower engulfed in spruce wood. And so there's some text here, but we're not gonna spend time on this now, guys. Last episode we had quite an unfortunate attempt to conquer the nether down there in search of something called blaze rods oh no yes thank you and i just wanted to show you something real quick and i went back there to search for blaze rods and i have six blaze rods but that's not what i wanted or not that's not the main thing i wanted to show you today in fact, there's something else I want to go ahead and show you and do together with you today. And it still has to do with uh, blaze spawns. And hopefully after we do that and we come back hopefully alive without any problems, we're going to finally attempt to finalize the decoration of this house, at least in terms of the potion making setup and maybe something else. Uh, we are alone right now on the server, but maybe who knows, somebody can come in and um, come in or come online, whatever, and things may change. But in the meantime, this is the plan. Let me quickly check if I'm ready. I'm just gonna probably unload real quick these unnecessary stacks of netherrack. By the way, just the fact that you see them in my inventory maybe already tells you what's going on. Uh, to dirt now mm, well let's leave the dirt here and it's always good to have some cobblestone with us in fact I'm going to keep even that just gonna let the five here and leave this here replenish my stock of uh, arrows uh, my weapons are fine my picks are fine may want to get one more stack of ender pearls I have enough food I believe and that should be it oh yeah sticks 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 i must have somewhere a bunch of sticks here we go 31 sticks and i must have somewhere a little bit of wood left over oh here we go and some more sticks and i, I, I you don't just bear with me guys there's a plan there's a plan behind this get as many sticks as possible essentially what I'm trying to do here is build a ladder or as many ladders as I can I don't know if that's enough but 42 ladders oh wait, wait, wait. can I build more huh I'm one stick short well never mind just gonna grab these sticks put them back in here I am still to deal with these diamonds here but we'll talk about that later um, obviously it's exciting that I have them but I have not yet fully process and processed them hello horsey how are you today I hope he's doing fine we need to deal with the horse at one point in the future too give him a name giving us give him a saddle 
you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, a little bit of a warning, guys. There's um, some tunnel walking action ahead. And I'm gonna try to make it as pleasant for you as possible. But we'll have to go through it. And the reason we have to go through it is because I want to show you where where the spawner is. I actually went ahead, explored, and found a spawner. A blaze spawner. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just proud of myself, guys, because I don't usually do things right in Minecraft. And this time around, I actually, I think, I did it right. I went ahead, I explored, I didn't die, and I found a blaze spawner. Along with an, another, another entirely different and new um, uh, nether fortress. Now here's the deal. This is GT Beats Ice Spike Biome Tunnel or Tunnel. And it's kind of long, so I'm probably going to speed up some of this a little bit. But essentially, what I discovered is that the tunnel, I don't know if it stops where the fortress is or just passes by it or whatever but I discovered it at least as a minimum comes close it and I used this tunnel to go part way to the to the fortress I actually covered this um, this part here it was open space so I covered it in stone to be a little bit safer so that was life entirely entirely open here gas could rape you anytime they wanted now, this is a really long part okay okay it's long it's very long it's extremely long you know I never do this I'm gonna do this now that's what she said <laughs> I always wanted to do this I hate these jokes, by the way. Well, no, I, I don't hate them. I just, I don't feel like a great comedian when I, when I do them or when I say this. So here's the first clue. Uh, this is actually, can you hear the lava? Can you hear it? Okay. Let me eat. Uh, we are right now above a lake of lava. This is a little tunnel made of netherrack right above the tunnel, uh, right above the lake. And this is where I kind of came into the tunnel and I left this as a token to know where, where roughly I should be then looking for my location. Right here. I have another clue. And this is where our tunnel branches off. And I don't know how this is going to work in the future with the rail, but it must be some sort of system that allows GT Beats to continue this way to his ice biome. And me, or whoever else wants to come over here to continue to the blaze spawn. If anybody wants to go there. So I managed to cover basically most of the distance. And there was a little bit of a challenge here. Engineering challenge. You know, from here, I did kind of a strange staircase down. Like so, like so, like so. One more time, like so, one more time, like so. And then suddenly, like so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go down. Uh, there was a lava lake here, so I had to go even more down. Okay. And there's some more long tunnel walks. Don't worry, guys. This is not going to be the episode. Of, uh, uh, this is not going to be most of the episode. Just a little bit of the episode. And hopefully what you're seeing right now is a little bit of a speed, speed, speed footage. Uh, make make the experience faster or not if not then I didn't manage to figure it out and it's just normal footage in any case this is the exit and this is also why I need these stairs I'm gonna be placing stairs uh, oh actually ladders I don't know I keep calling them stairs they're actually ladders I missed one so noisy I don't like that I, I really hate the nether mainly for its noise a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more. oh oh yep yeah, thank you in fact is there any way I can place some torches here it's extremely dark 
let's just see if I can do that. No, I cannot place torches when there is a... Yeah, when there's a ladder in the tunnel. I have to do some editing here, guys, so you don't die from the darkness. So, here is where we came from. Some light. Put some more light now. Or here, no. Let's put it here. Just kind of as a symbol that it's here. And now, now is the time when we get into more danger because this is another fortress and these are the kind of guys that you can encounter here. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh man, can you believe this? Oh man. Oh my god, I thought I'm prepared! Come on, what's up with this? Just just as I'm on the camera in front of everybody. I was so good off camera. Oh man. Anyways, don't worry guys, there's a backup plan. Uh, not here. Here. Protection. I'm breaking. Protection. Fire protection. Uh, feather falling and breaking protection. Aqua affinity protection and well protection is good so let's take protection. Knockback, sharpness and fire. Fire aspect, do I really need? Well doesn't matter. And the pearls. Uh, I lost all my cobblestone, so that's that's a bummer. The food I have upstairs and I think my arrows and bow is also upstairs. Hopefully I'll be able to recover my stuff. Hopefully he has not despawned. I have to face off this. Oh, oops, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing this for. My bows are here. Oh, let's go for punch and power. I think it's not as good as the other ball, but they. Uh, and I'm gonna miss some picks. And I think I took all the sticks with me. It's a good thing I placed the, the, the ladder. Let's grab these blocks here. For blocks, uh, some arrows. What else? Food, of course. Yes, food. And am I missing anything? Picks. It is a fortune one, but you know I don't care. It's it's an iron pick, so I'm gonna use it. And do man, I think I left the sticks down here. Dude, that's not something I planned on. That's really annoying. Do I have more iron? And if yes, where? I think I do have more iron, I just don't know where it is. Uh, let's see if it's up here. You gotta be careful with the camera. I keep on using the camera like a madman. Huh. So I don't have any more iron? Oh, I do have more iron. Right, let's make a pick. Just to have a spare one. Thank you very much. Leave whatever's left in here. Close. I don't know why, but just in case. And head back to the nether. Oh yeah, of course. I need to do this. 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 And of course I need to do this. It's advisable to do that. <laughs> uh, some blocks, some... I don't have torches. Well, hopefully I'll be able to recover most of the stuff from that stupid nether wither skeleton, sorry. But it's, he's stupid, but he's not nether, he's wither. And I'm gonna cut through this, guys, because I don't want you to be bored watching the tunnel one more time. And you'll see me once more when I'm at the skeleton. Hopefully we'll be able to defeat him. Alright guys, we're back. Right, I walked all the way. And I came here, and now... Moment of truth. Will I be able to defeat the withered skeleton successfully without having to come back here for the third time? I really wish that's the case, because... Oh. Oh, where is he? He didn't eventually die. He, I know he had my stuff, 
on him. So where is he? I'm assuming that's a he. Huh. That's pretty weird and pity also because I kind of wished I could recover, if, if possible, my stuff. Ooh, I gotta be careful, there's a pig there. You don't wanna... Oh! 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 Run! Run! Run, sir, click! Run, sir, click! Dude, that's not funny. Do I need to eat? Oh, man. That was way too intense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. is this guy after me? Can I hit, hit him? Kill him? Dude. Not cool. You guys, not cool. Man. Am I gonna get my stuff? Did I get my stuff? I got my stuff. Wow, that's awesome. Did I get all my stuff? Hmm. Probably. I'm gonna check later. I don't see any stuff laying around. Oh! Dude. This is not funny. They're ambushing me. Not, there were not so many mobs when I came in here. Now they're like all over the place. Come on, leave me alone. <laughs> you must be kidding me. Oh. Anyways. You guys get to see some action at least. I think. I think that's good. Hello? Hello? Oh. Hmm. Can I get you? Let's eat. This is not funny at all. Let's get rid of this quickly. No. Oh, he did hit me. Wow. Did I hit him at least? Huh. I deflected his... His thing. His uh, projectile. Huh. I'm wasting arrows on these guys. Let's see if I can hit him from here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Take that, bitch. Okay, finally you died. Let me, just, let me just retreat quickly to safety, eat a little bit, and see what's up down there. If I ever get to the blaze spawner today, guys, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll be a lucky guy. Seems like things have changed around here since the last time I was visiting, and not to the better, really. I know there is a skeleton here somewhere waiting in ambush so i don't know you know what i'm just gonna gonna i'm just gonna have to brave it you know like so run sir click run and really what we're looking for is right here anybody following me no the path is clear that's right mr Pig. we're safe and in fact what i'm gonna do it's, I'm gonna. I know somebody's behind me. I know, guys. Don't worry. I can feel it. And I'm not gonna pay attention to him. Oh no, there is nobody behind me. Okay, I thought there's somebody behind me. <sighs> Let's just close this off. Wow. 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 So, mm, I got my torches back got my arrows back I got my f other bowl back I got my other armor my weapon the stone I got the food ev pretty much everything that's nice so here's the spawner yeah discovered by sir click I want this to be a, a public thing guys this is not like my personal spawner there's one more spawner right over there I think it's too far away for it to be a double spawner but if ever anybody needs blazes, they can come here and uh, get them. I have been looking online. Just quick peek. 
What's the situation out here? Seems like it's clear. There's a little zombie man. I can see you, man. I can see you walking over there. Uh, let's close the door. Uh, I, I was watching the internet for some designs, and quite honestly, I'm not gonna go for any of the more complex ones, that's for sure. Because they're complex. But there was one interesting design that I saw uh, amongst the others, which really kind of caused me to be quite curious and not only that but motivated to do to give it a try to do a farm a, a grinder and I'm gonna attempt starting today I, I don't know how far I'm gonna get today but at least I will start it involves obsidian so I need to get some obsidian as well uh, before I start and and of course I'm not gonna bother you with all the details hope the blazes are not too loud but at least you will see part of the construction. Now let's go ahead and open up this and see how bad is the situation on the other side. Oh, here we go. See if we can get ourselves some blazes already now. Hello. <laughs> Suck on that, blaze. No. Can I actually... Am I hitting him? Yes, of course. Okay. I'm just assuming there's not a guy there. Ah, here you, here you are, here you are. My circlic accent, my nether accent. <laughs> Can I? Is it possible for me? No. Well, whatever. I guess I'll have to break this. Hello. Ah. No, I, I'm, I'm still alive, man. I hope you realize this. Oh, he's he's dead. Okay, good. I thought that if I make it too wide, uh, too tall, they're not going to be able to spawn. But that's not the case. In your face, man. Yeah, that's not the case. They're still spawning, and I learned from the internet that I need to cover the whole area in some sort of material. So I'm gonna start clearing the area and then filling it up immediately with. I guess uh, let's start with this. Oh well, no. Let's start with a cobble because the cobble can at least be different, and I know where the border is. In fact, I know that it has to be like seven. And we need to do that carefully. These guys are terrible shots. I'm gonna grab the sticks. I'm gonna be collecting quite a few sticks in the process. Uh, I know it's nine by nine. Which means I have to have three? No, four on each side. So this is two, two more. Uh, one, two, right? So one, two, three, four. Yes. Uh, nope. Let's replace that quickly and start placing our blocks accordingly. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna make sure I don't die here. Yes. Did you drop anything? No. Please drop something. How rude. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do this like that. Uh, do, 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 do. And I'll be back when it's done. Yep. See you later. Okay, guys. Um, about 18 blaze rods and about 20 minutes later, I am kind of, sort of, done enclosing the spawner. Uh, I'm starting to run out of my last pick, so I want to make sure um, I don't get left in the nether without a pick. Perhaps, and this is one of the things I'm thinking. One of one of the <clears throat> okay. Let me step back. Whatever happens here, I need to have some sort of little little working setup. So I need to a workbench and a chest and stuff. So I need to bring more stuff. The plan uh, is to clean up the area just to isolate the spawning. As it is, all of this, this cube is basically covered up in stuff so that the spawn 
stops or no more blaze come to life to kill me. And then we can start planning our actual farm and implementing it. But besides the materials I need for the work setup, besides the iron picks or whatever picks, I need also, as I said earlier, obsidian for, for this type of design. And I need to go ahead and search for that and come back once I have it. I don't know how quickly I'll be able to get this, but at least now I know not like this, man. Now I know, and I hope nobody's gonna ambush me now. Now I know that we're, we're one step closer to achieving our goal of having a blaze rod, uh, blaze rod farm. A and B, we have enough blaze rods to get us started on the design phase of our house. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then figure out if I will still be looking for obsidian today or if I will alternatively leave this for another day. Let me cut through the chase, cut through the chase, yeah, <laughs> or cut through the tunnel chase and come back to you once I'm back at spawn. <clears throat> okay guys, um, while I was in the nether, working on the spawner, or at least on the first steps around the spawner, Mr. Grana came online. Mr. Grana, or Grain, um, is a guy that I know from YouTube for some time now, outside of Terror Escape, and he not so long ago joined the, the channel. <laughs> the channel? <laughs> What's going on with me today? The server, and so I'm really excited to have him around, although we don't, uh, we don't overlap way too much with our schedules. And since he's online, I, uh, and he has recently built this absolutely tall building, I was wondering if he can um, show us around a little bit. Oh no! No! Oh man! Oh, dude. I thought that... I thought that I'm done with fighting today, but no. El Espano Pequeño joined in. Oh man, this is an armored, heavy armored, heavy assault zombie. Uh, he dropped a helmet, what do you know? But seems like Mr. Gran... Oh, Grain is not... Yeah, he's not... Well, he is. He's here. Well, I know what, I'm we gonna pay him a visit. Hey... Hey, man. Mr. Pequeño! The Spaniard. Oh, I have no place in my inventory. Well, never mind. I don't care about these drops anyways now I have no idea quite honestly how to go up so I will have to improvise somehow you know use some skillful improvisation skills here we go Mr. Pequeño um, Let's see now. How about... How about... Let's make sure no creepers, like, explode in my face. How about we do that? Almost. Almost. Uh, one more time. Thank you. Uh, we're getting there. How about we go here? Yes, nice. Hmm. Days uh, coming back. It's day again on the Terrorscape server. Now, from here on, it's really just making sure I don't fall. There's a beautiful view from here, actually. I like it. It's a huge ladder. Hello, Mr. Grand. I can see him there. He's in how? In Helm. <laughs> Keep on using Helm. Home or house. Whatever. He's at home. Not at Helm. Oh, wow, man. Hello. Dude. Awesome. Palace. It is awesome. Look at this. It is indeed like a palace. I, I didn't. I've never been here. 
Oh, and the view. The view. You can see the terrascape, um, huge terrascape tree with a little star at the top. Truly, truly amazing. I would have appreciated if the windows were a little bigger. I don't know, I feel like I'm not seeing the entire view because of this. Hmm. Uh, bigger windows. If I manage to type this. Can enhance the view. And that's true. Probably even raise the property value. And who knows, Mr. Grand, one day you may be able to sell this for a hefty price. Making a lot of money. Uh, right? Oh, he's working on it, yeah. You can make a lot of money one day and uh, move on to a small island in the middle of the Minecraft ocean. You know, enjoy fishing. All that good jazz. Um, oh, okay. Nice. Thank you. That's awesome. Oh, that's really amazing. He's going to push me. <laughs> wow, the view is amazing. Amazing views. View. Truly. It is truly amazing. And it's even more amazing when I do that. And actually, I can... <laughs> yeah, it is the best spot on the server. What I can do here is this. And park right in front of my house. Isn't that awesome? It's really, really awesome. <laughs> Funny. See ya, man. Okay. Managed to say see ya before he leaves. I usually am very slow with this. Anyways... Moving on to other tasks. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at me. Look at me. All right, guys. We are back from the nether and ready to go with our design spree. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for this for so long that now I'm not quite sure how exactly I want to do it. We may have to end up changing it a couple of times um, as it as it normally is with us but in any case I want some cauldrons I know Jimmy I know you said not to use cauldrons but I'm using them mainly for decorational purposes because this is supposed to be Sir Click's apothecary apothecary I think I'm pronouncing this correctly and having said that let's just quickly create some signs actually I don't need that many I just need three maybe at most and actually oh wow wait wait a second wasn't there a sign here at one point in time no there is no sign now but I'm gonna add a sign and let's place it here sir click apothecary I sincerely hope this is the way you spell apothecary. Let me just quickly check that online. Apothecary. Yep, that's the right spelling. Basically what it means is like something like a pharmacy, old old English for pharmacy. Um, so you can buy potions and stuff here. I don't know if I'm gonna be actually selling them but it's all for fun. It's, it's role-playing, guys. Role-playing. All right, so we have the cauldron, and in fact, I'm gonna build another one just for, for the heck of it. I have the iron, so why not? Uh, why not build it? Oh, by the way, Ben is online. Mr. Bispo Ben. B is for Ben. I keep calling him Bis for Ben. <laughs> Whereas it's actually B is for Ben. And Mr. Ben, I, I was dropping some trees here, so some saplings, let me grab those quickly. Dropped in and in the Christmas spirit gave us gave us this. I must say I was um I was speechless. Look at this. 
Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4. Wow. Thanks, Ben. Uh, like I'm thanking the sun. Uh, ben is my son. <laughs> no. Uh, but no, it's really appreciated, man. It was unexpected and really awesome. He also gave me some blocks of iron. Uh, Christmas spirit is all around the Terrorscape. Ter uh, blah, blah, blah. Again, speech malfunction. Sorry, guys. The Terrorscape server. This is what I want to do. And I'm walking around aimlessly. And in fact, what I need to be doing is going down. Because... Because we have 18 sticks here. That will be... At least part them. Oh, no. What was that? What, I, what was I doing? I want to place the, place the sign. I didn't want to place a sign. Let's use this new awesome axe to drop it. In fact, I want to just ah, close the door, open the door, close the door, and build some brewing potion stands. I don't remember how to build them, but I think it's something like that. No? No? <laughs> People are probably laughing now. I, I don't know how to build stands. <laughs> I need to check this online. Stick around. Well, actually, don't go anywhere. I'm checking it right now. Brewing stand. Brew. Brewing stand. Stand. Minecraft. Google knows. Google knows immediately I'm looking stuff for Minecraft. Wow. I'm so professional. It has nothing to do with iron, of course. This is amazing. Uh, it does have blaze rods, at least. I'm, I'm, I'm close. Close enough. Cobblestone. And... What was that? Like so? And then like so? No? Like so? Oh, okay. So we can do... Oh, I need a little bit more stone. Uh, to eventually build more of these. Didn't I have more stone somewhere? Man, I'm so disorganized. As usual. You know, guys, you know me. Oh, there's one more stone. I had a bunch of cobblestone. Where did that all go? Huh. You got me there. It's not here. It's not here. It most definitely is not here. Oh, I used it all in the nether, of course. Silly me. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. We have enough <coughs> to build this two stands. And that's good enough for now. I'm gonna use these blocks here and just to kind of try and see how this would look design wise not too bad not too shabby okay sweet I still don't mm, it needs to look a little better you know this doesn't look really Design wise, it looks crappy, but it's shaping up to be an interesting interesting room. I need to work a little more on this. So stick with me, guys. Uh, I have an idea. What will happen if I do this? Okay, is that is that making it better? I don't know. Well, anyways, we can put uh, agents or reagents, regs, like mats, here. Uh, we have these two. And, and again, I'm, I'm probably going to use these two just as, uh, as decoration. You know what came to me just now? If I had a couple of slabs, maybe a few more, actually. And I did the following I if I did I don't know I need four hmm let's see if I did this oh in fact you know what 
I don't need to do anything. That could have stayed there, but that's okay. Was that a slab? Okay, good. So we can um, we can actually use that slab like so, you know, and then like so and like so. I need a few more slabs for this one, like so. Right about here. And let me get rid of this for now. Hmm. And three more slabs here. One, two, three. Then I'm gonna use Ben's magical axe. And not being able to Oh wait a second, I have pearls. Oh, goodbye, Ben. Goodbye. Okay. And the whole point of this exercise, guys, let's see if I can fix this quickly, is to to use this place for water. Water. I guess you already guessed anyways, so it's not such a big surprise. Why do I keep taking the pearls away from my... Oh, wait, wait. Don't be in a hurry, my friend. Oh, I forgot to take these guys out. Okay, good. One more time. All right. Starting to look nice. Let's just put some bricks. I will need... We'll need buckets. Buckets, or at least two buckets. Okay. I probably have buckets somewhere anyways, but... Oh, Ben is gone. Uh, it's dark outside, so let's go sleep real quick. Okay, and... Go look for some water. There must be at least one infinite water pool somewhere nearby. Hmm. Let me go grab some water. I don't want you guys to get bored watching me looking for water. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we have our water. And in fact, two buckets of water. I'm gonna place them like so. Have an infinite spring. Or something source of water let's maybe even get rid of this with Ben's axe because it's awesome and place these cauldrons here uh, well would that be too much that would be too much right I don't know hmm hmm I don't know, or, or should I put... No, that's again too much. Or maybe we should leave one cauldron for now and... Oh man. Or what if, what if, there's another idea. I don't even know which... Oh! It disappeared! Really, man? Oh man, that's not cool. Is that normal? Oh boy. Well, I can I can make more. It's not a problem, but it's ah, I hate it. Well, let's put a cold in here. But what I was thinking is maybe I, I could, you know, do this type of deal. So have a a chest. A stand, a cold room, and a chest, a stand, a cold room, just like that, just for fun. Uh, but I lost my, one of my stands, and I don't have cobblestone now. I can get it, of course, real quick, but uh, that's not the point of today's episode. I just wanted to show you guys, like, roughly where, where I'm going with this, idea-wise. This, of course, will be destroyed. It will get rid of this, and probably even get rid of this. Add some more decoration. Next time we're gonna work also a little bit more on this room that's not as finished as I want it to be. 
Um, it's this little derpy thing here. I don't think that's the intention of it. And then hopefully also next episode we're going to be we're going to be able to finish the uh, storage room where we'll have a lot of space to store stuff if we need to store any stuff. And also next episode, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if I'll, I'll be able to do all of this in the next episode, but also very soon I hope I'll be able to complete at least partially my blaze spawn idea. We'll see guys, um, Christmas is coming, I hope I'll be able to squeeze in a, an episode before that um, and uh, I hope in addition to this I'll be able to squeeze in uh, an episode, oh I don't have place to get naked so you're gonna see me in an armor setup no. uh, or squeezing like a Christmas special and then it's gonna be New Year's Eve and then we're gonna have a whole new year 12 months of fun and hopefully more Terrascape videos in the meantime guys I would like to really thank you for watching if you liked this video uh, also express that or well, I would appreciate if you express that by pressing the like button it helps a bunch really I mean amazingly a lot so do 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 please press the like button feel free to comment in the comment section below I appreciate every time actually <clears throat> some youtubers say I like comment more than a like on my video and although I like both of them equally comments also are awesome because I get to I get to interact with you guys thank you once more for watching guys and I'll see you next time bye bye